this is our one year quick review of the TLC 2000 construction time lapse camera. We're going to be going over our experience with it in the year that we've had it and if it's worth getting again. First things first, pricing. So for the construction trio bundle, it comes in at around $600, followed by just the camera itself for roughly $400. So a pretty pricey setup. So what kind of quality do you get at this price point? Well, you're looking at roughly a 1080p resolution, so nothing phenomenal with the f2.0 aperture. So what does this look like on the job? Well, if I'm being honest, not bad, especially outside with good lighting as seen here. This is the raw unedited footage out of the camera. However, the low light capabilities of this camera are a little bit underwhelming, but still gets the job done. If you have a keen eye, you will notice some noise and blocking artifacts on the footage, especially frames with lots of motion blur as shown here. And on occasion, sometimes the footage will become super blocky as shown here. Now for probably the best feature on this camera, the amazing 118 degree wide angle lens. This lens is able to capture everything we need it to, especially tight basement dig outs, which we do a lot of. Being able to put two of these in the corner of a basement and have them capture the entire job site is such an amazing feeling. This field of view was one of our main reasons for purchasing this camera, as well as how strong and sturdy the construction housing is on a busy and messy job site. The build quality on this is great, being able to take a good beating and keep out any dust or dirt. Also, being able to hang the camera almost anywhere with a thick metal clamp is a huge bonus in tight spaces. On to battery life. Each camera takes two AA batteries that last a good amount of time with our recording settings. The batteries only need to be changed roughly every two weeks when the camera films from 7am to 7pm at 2 minute intervals with some juice to spare. Overall, I have a lot of confidence setting these up for a week at a time and not worrying about the batteries dying. Lastly, storage is super simple. All the footage is saved to a micro SD card on the side of the camera that can easily be taken out to retrieve the footage. I won't get too in depth with the settings, but this camera has a lot of features to choose from as well as a super simple menu to navigate which makes setting up the camera a super easy task. Overall, what are our thoughts? The first being it is quite expensive, which may not be in everyone's budget, especially for the construction housing which we recommend. We are a little disappointed with the out-of-box quality you get from low light environments. However, the versatility of this camera setup and the quality of it are justified. Once you spend the time with the camera, you soon realize how simple and stress-free the process is for setting it up and when recording. An honest rating for this camera would have to be 7 out of 10, our only real negatives being the pricing for the camera for the quality you get. Let us know, what do you think of this camera for construction use? What other alternatives would you like us to look into? With that said, thank you for watching Gold's Concrete.